Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotech. We're going to review the MXL BCC1. This is a live broadcast mic from MXL and they were nice enough to send it for review. So this is what it comes in. It comes in a little package around this and then you've got this nice plastic case with it. It's a hard shell and you can see it has some latches, a little handle, nothing really on the bottom. And we'll open it up here. Now when you open it up, you'll see there's the microphone itself. It's a cardioid condenser microphone and right here you can see it has a low roll-off switch so that helps with things like bass and gives extra clarity with lower voices things like that we have a wind filter or you can use it as a pop filter and if we pull this out here it's kinda heavy uh, you can see it's it's metal it's really solid construction and it's about 1.6 pounds so it's solid it comes with this mount and you can screw this onto any mount you might have and then lock it down in place now you could take this off if you really wanted to and mount it differently but that's pretty much how I've been using it is just like this you can see on the bottom it's an XLR connector and then around the top you can see we just have a normal screen for your microphone and it's really really nice now I'm using my camera's microphone right now to show you the difference I've been using this for the past month and prior to that I was using a Heil PR40 and this one I like them about the same this one has a little bit better uh, cancellation or it kinda hides my breathing a little better than the Heil did so let's take a look at it in a moment I'll set it up and we'll hear what it sounds like you can see I've set up the BCC one and it really looks like a nice microphone especially if I take this off and you can see it looks like a really nice microphone but aside from its looks it sounds really good let me put this back on I have it connected via a blue icicle to USB and then I'm recording with an app on my MacBook now that may or may not be the ideal way this does provide phantom voltage 48 volts and I normally use a Focusrite Scarlet 2i2 to record through the MacBook via USB and uh, some people prefer that some people don't either way it definitely enhances your voice from the camera microphone MXL says the microphone produces a really balanced sound and I really find that's that's pretty true unless I really don't speak properly into the microphone it has a tuned grill they claim that eliminates a lot of internal reflection and things like that and it also has that bass roll-off switch I talked about earlier which is actually turned on now which helps clarify lower voices it also has a built-in shock mount inside the microphone that should help with low-end vibrations things like that the microphone does a really good job of eliminating background noises like I said I don't know if you can hear any of that but behind me there's birds chirping occasionally there's a car driving by and usually it does a good job of keeping that noise out of what you hear so overall it's a really good microphone it will work fine with different instruments as well I don't use it for that I use it strictly for voice and I think it does a great job especially for what I'm using it for all of my YouTube videos uh, and I really can't complain about it whatsoever in fact it does a better job eliminating like I said some high-end noises or my breathing noises that you may have heard in another microphone the uh, Heil PR40 so I use that normally now it is a pretty expensive microphone at retail is about three hundred and fifty dollars I was able to find it for around 230 at some places so be sure to check online depending on where you buy it it's going to cost potentially a hundred dollars difference so be sure to check around for that and I'll provide some links in the description below I'd love to hear what you have to say about this microphone uh, what you think about it maybe you've used one or you're considering one for podcasting or video recording like I'm doing I don't think you could go wrong you may want to change out the end here that you're using for different sound quality but for what you're putting on YouTube this usually does a great job uh, for the quality that they allow if you have any questions or comments please place those in the comments below as always thanks for watching this is Aaron I'll see you next time